Hi, sweetheart. This book is called The Bumpy Little Pumpkin by Marjorie Culler, illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. The Bumpy Little Pumpkin. Wow, they have a pumpkin patch in their yard. Looks like fun. When their house is decorated for Halloween. Little Nell lived with Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie in a great big house in a great big woods. Behind the great big house, there was a great big garden. And in the great big garden, there was a great big pumpkin patch. All summer long, Little Nell had helped her family water and weed so that the pumpkins would grow big and orange for Halloween. a lot of pumpkins. When Halloween finally came, Big Mama called Little Nell and her sisters into the kitchen. It's time for each of you to pick a pumpkin to carve, she said in her big blustery voice. Me too, asked Little Nell. You too, said Big Mama. Here's the mama. Little Nell. Pick that one. She picked a long one. And look, Little Nell's thinking. So Little Nell followed her sisters out to the pumpkin patch. There are so many wonderful pumpkins, it's hard to choose, said Big Sarah. She picked up a tall, skinny pumpkin. I think I like this one, she said. Big Lizzie picked up a round, fat pumpkin. This is the one for me. But little Nell couldn't decide. She walked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, looking at all the pumpkins. Some were big, some were small, some were crooked, some were tall, but none was just right. At last she came to the end of the patch, and there sat a little bumpy little pumpkin all by itself. This one's my favorite, said Little Nell. It's bumpy and little and ugly, said Big Lizzie. It could have a nice smiley face, said Little Nell. No way, said Big Sarah. How about this nice smooth one instead? I like the bumpy one, said Little Nell. Big Sarah and Big Lizzie rolled their eyes. We're taking our pumpkins inside, said Big Sarah. You keep looking till you find a bigger and better one, said Big Lizzie. Then we'll help you carve it, added Big Sarah. Oh, she likes that little one. After they left, little Nell sat down next to the bumpy little pumpkin. A tiny tear fell down her cheek, then another and another. Her friend's reindeer hair and bear cub came along. What's wrong? asked Bear Cub. Little Nell sniffled and snuffed. <laughs> big Lizzie and Big Sarah think my pumpkin's too bumpy and too little and too ugly to make a good jack-o'-lantern. I don't think it's too bumpy, said Bear Cub. Or too little, said Reindeer. Or too ugly, said Hare. You don't? asked Little Nell. No, said the animals. This pumpkin would make a great jack-o'-lantern, said Reindeer, and we could help you carve it. How? asked Little Nell. Like this, said Reindeer, and he lowered his head and cut around and around and around the top until he carved a lid. Oh, said Little Nell, that's perfect. See, he used his antlers to cut right around there. Oh, look at little bear. <laughs> I can scoop out the inside, said bear cub. How, asked little Nell. Like this, said little bear. He clawed and pawed and pawed and clawed until there was nothing left but an empty pumpkin shell. Oh, goody, said little Nell. Now, for the face, how can we do that? 
Let's ask the birds to help, said Hare. So little Nell whistled for the birds. Crow, Cardinal, and Sparrow flew down from the trees. Birds are coming. They're gonna help make the face. Well, she's drawing a face. Could you make the face for my jack-o'-lantern, asked little Nell. What kind of face, asked Cardinal. With her finger, little Nell etched and sketched and sketched and etched a face in the dirt. It had triangles for eyes, a square for a nose, and a smiley, lopsided mouth. Like this, she said. See the birds? She's showing them how to make a face. There they go. So Crow, Cardinal, and Sparrow poked and pecked and pecked and poked until the pumpkin had a face. At last, the jack-o'-lantern was finished. Little Nell smiled a tiny smile. I can't wait to show it to Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie. Looks cute, doesn't he? There she goes, she's running home. She picked it up and ran all the way to the house. What a Beautiful jack-o'-lantern, said Big Mama. Where'd you get it? From our pumpkin patch, said Little Nell. But who helped you carve it, asked Big Sarah. My friends, reindeer, bear, cub, and hare, said Little Nell. I still think it's little and bumpy and ugly, said Big Lizzie. Nonsense, said Big Mama. Jack-o'-lanterns come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, look at her, so cute. Here's her little one. The girls placed their jack-o'-lanterns near the door and Big Mama lit them. Mine's cool, said Big Sarah. Mine's even cooler, said Big Lizzie. They're all wonderful, said Big Mama. Even mine, asked Little Nell. Even yours, said Big Mama. And she leaned over and gave Little Nell a big sloppy kiss. Little Nell smiled. Happy Halloween. She loves her jack o' lantern. And that's the end of the bumpy little pumpkin. Okay, sweetheart, see you next time.